YouTube and welcome back to a new tutorial and in this tutorial I was thinking well last tutorial made it so we can kill people so if we walked up to this farmer here and kill him he's dead correct yes and there was a reason I said farmer really bad well hint hint because this mission here requires the farmer so you can't do this mission if you don't have the farmer so what we're going to do is edit this, so if the farmer's dead, or not there, then uh, it destroys the mission, you can't do it no more. Or it shows a fail screen, yes. So really, really simple to do, shouldn't take longer than five minutes. So we're going to open our mission one collect script up, and we'll just scan it quickly, just go into it. So this one's if it's false, and this one's if it's true. So we do need it to technically... Um, check whether it's there or not throughout everything. So what we can do here is type if game object dot find. Now what's the farmer's name? I believe it's farmer. So yes, farmer dot um, get component. So what my plan is, we'll go through that if statement to the farmer farmer's entity which might be a bit difficult but we'll find a way and then we'll get the enemy collision script and see if his life is less than zero because that makes sense yes so farmer dot transform dot find so we're going from game object dot find to transform dot find so we'll type entity there is another way to do this with slashes but I'm not 100% sure about that so we're going to do it this way dot get game object dot get component and enemy collision because it's got an s on dot and if we open this enemy collision script up what's it called enemy life enemy life is less than zero so quite a long if statement but if we break it down so find the farmer which it can then find the property inside the farmer called entity, which it will, and then get get the game object, and then get the component on it called enemy collisions, and get the enemy life. So let's see if it likes it. Yep, so it likes that. But before this, we might have an error, because I'm planning to put a timer. So if they're dead and you get so far away, then it's not going to game object or find it no more is it because it'll be gone no that don't matter actually never mind i was just blabbing myself so in here game object or find farm entity if its life is less than zero which on here it sets less than one so we'll say less than one then because it's not going to be minus one so in here we'll type this well destroy roy this dot game object so this dot game object will be the script there destroy this so it'll destroy that completely just gone however we do need to put an if statement here if we'll put this at the bottom then because if it destroys it too quick it'll not carry on so if mission active equals true then what we need to make it do is show you failed screen so Where's mission active? So we mission active is always on. So here then, where it says magnitude, we'll turn in range not on. So we'll just input that text so we can show a GUI again. And then here we'll type input that text controls text active equals true, which will show the GUI at the bottom. Input that text equals mission failed. You killed the farmer. So if you kill the farmer and your mission's active, you'll not be able to play. Otherwise, it'll just destroy it. So, quick thing, let's just try it. So we're going to have to try this a couple of times. One, we'll kill the farmer and it should destroy the script. And then two, we'll start the mission and destroy the script. Destroy the script, that's it. So let's see. Shoot. There. So the farmer's dead, the mission's gone. Is it completely obliterated it? Yep, completely gone. So now we can start the mission and try it. So come back here. 
find this mission and press Q. Reward, begin quest. There, so collect five apples. So we'll go down here and we'll kill the farmer and it should destroy everything but if it doesn't destroy the apples we'll need to make it do that because I don't think it will destroy the apples oh yes it did mission failed you killed the farmer that should disappear soon and there we go so that works perfectly quick script uh, destroy the farmer now and um, the reason I'm putting the farmer in this if statement is because down here we've literally programmed it to go to the farmer if you copy this script for anything else put this as your ending or if you've just made it instantly pop up then you don't really need this bit on but yeah so quick script I hope you liked it it should help um, stop any problems because if you were to kill the farmer and he disappears eventually then you try to do this mission it will not work so thank you for watching um, join my Facebook group below I'll give you daily updates and any help See you next time.